This video is about the benefits that come with using BIM. You must already know what the building information model is, but let's talk about why you should use it instead of traditional design methods. Architects working with 2D-based workflows spend most of their time on non-design tasks, mainly because if the design changes while it's being documented, it's a huge work to synchronize those changes with all the related documentation plans. As a result, the design will suffer from a lack of attention and will not get enough time to make sure that the design is fully on board with client needs. As a new strategy, BIM aims to shift more effort into design and away from other duties. To demonstrate this, let's look at this diagram where effort is measured over time. This chart is also known as the McLeamy curve. Looking at a traditional 2D CAD-oriented approach, we usually start with a design with a small team, and as the design progresses, the team size and effort increase. The effort curve reaches its maximum at the construction documentation, and effort significantly reduces during the tendering and construction phase. Now let's see our ability to change the design easily. At the early design, we can form the building add stories and change the overall size fairly quickly and with less effort. As more of the design is documented, it becomes more difficult. By late construction documents, we cannot really make changes at all. The other factor is controlling cost. Similarly, in schematic design, we can easily change construction costs. By the end of construction documentation, we don't have much influence over costs. We can only reduce it by degrading finishes, for example, which is usually a significant downgrade in overall building quality. If the building program and budget are not solved by the end of the construction documentation, there's a big chance of failure, possibly resulting in lawsuits and other negative consequences. Now let's see how BIM workflows can change this. This strategy aims to shift effort forward in time. More effort will be put into developing and testing different design options and less effort for documentation as most of it becomes automated. When we put the most effort into design, we have bigger ability to change it and those changes will cost less. The design will be better because we will have more freedom when we have the ability to change. All this is made possible by BIM authoring software such as ARCHICAD, backed up with specialized analysis tools. Our coordination will be more precise and free of errors, resulting in a smooth construction process and better overall building quality that will most likely satisfy the client. Now, let's see some examples of specific workflows that come with the BIM strategy as benefits. From visualization to quality assurance, there's a lot you can do to boost overall design productivity. Since the 3D model is given at the very early stage of design, it's fairly easy to create renderings and present the project in a professional way to the client. For this, you don't necessarily need to bring a computer either, as there are BIM-related mobile applications such as Graphisoft's BIMAX. With this smart app, you can easily present the design to the clients or even check the construction plans on site. Other than visualization, most importantly, we can use BIM for model coordination and design quality assurance. One of the most commonly used methods is collision detection between different disciplines. For example, we can check if there are any issues comparing the structural and the MEP model. By running the check on the combined or federated model, we can pinpoint the collisions in the virtual space before construction. It saves a lot of frustration on site, but most importantly, saves us from an expensive and possibly lengthy correction of defective work. Another benefit is the ability to create quantity takeoffs and cost estimation based on model data in a timely manner. For this, we use the interactive element schedules, which can list specific properties of a filtered set of elements. We can take the advantage of integrated design solutions, such as the automatically generated structural analytical model. 
Last but not least, we can assure better overall architectural quality by applying quality checking workflows. This can be achieved by applying specifically set views within ARCHICAD, or we can utilize connections with model analysis software such as Solibri to apply more specific checking rules. That concludes the introduction to the benefits of the BIM way.